This is what we uh, wake up to this morning. It's, uh, I, it's, I don't know if you could actually tell, but. You can see ashes on your car. There is, uh, the air is thick with uh, smoke. I've got ash on my truck. Uh, that's not smog and that's not fog, that's smoke that you see. And it really, really smells strong. We might as well are. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well do our good morning for you choking while we're standing out here um, with my inhaler and everything like that. I'm not going to be out here much today um, at all. So after you're done babying your cat, oh. what are you going to do this morning or today? I am going to probably clean up the kitchen because it's a bit of a mess. It, the dishes are clean. She I just got to put them everything. away because I don't want to get dust on them. Yeah. I want it all put away. I don't want anything out. And I still have to do some uh, concrete work on the one corner because the board won't sit flat. And as soon as that's flat enough, then I'm going to glue and bolt that thing to the, the edge. Hmm. I think your relationship with your cat is just a tad bit unhealthy. <laughs> Do you hear that boomy? She's Dallas. That's a <laughs> <laughs> he really wants you to have your nose pierced. <laughs> <laughs> your nose isn't as tasty as mine, no. apparently. No, I clean my boogers, thank you. <laughs> oh, what are you trying to say? <laughs> um, when Kevin starts working, I think I'm just going to retreat to the bedroom and watch your girly shows. Watch. They're not always girly. <laughs> do you know? Do you know what you probably would never admit? What? That you are watching comic characters. Comic. Character? Comic characters. You like to watch Arrow. Yes, and I all do. These. So you are a comic book person. Yes, I am. I don't read comic books, but I, I used to watch... Um, do you watch The Flash? I, do you, I don't watch The Flash. I used to watch Smallville, which was Superman. Um, I watch Arrow. I watch... I think those are the only two... The only superhero character I watch, mm -hmm. but Arrow's got, you know, different superheroes in it. <laughs> You're a nerd. I'm a nerd, and You're I nerd. love it. <laughs> Did we disturb you? <laughs> Did we disturb your slumber? <laughs> so, <clears throat> all right. What? Let's get me a fresh drink and get me in the bedroom and get me settled so you can start working and I can start watching your watching nerd shows. Watch my nerd shows and napping. <laughs> okay, so it's fit quite nicely. I have to attach it. So this is what the edge is going to look like with the, the uh, tile against it. I have to drill holes. I think I'm only going to do three of them. One on each end, about a foot in, and one dead center. And I've got myself some oak wood plugs. So I have to make a nice clean hole. Use the concrete screws that I bought. And bolt this in. Okay, so I've broken out my drill press, and I'm going to use a Forstner bit to drill the holes that's going to attach it to the concrete. Before I do that, I need to set the depth in my piece. I think I'm going to go about 3 eighths of an inch, and I'll make sure it's absolutely perfect before I 
try it on the actual piece that I'm going to be doing. Got to make sure that this is the right size for the plug. It's going to go in right. Uh, so I will be messing around with this for a little while to get the exact locations for the drill holes and the depth. Alright, that looks pretty good. This is the bolt I'm going to be using. Um, it's, I think one and three quarters inch long. It should be able to do the trick. I have to countersink the hole inside because of the, the cone shape of the head. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use to do the countersink. I have a, a taper drill with a countersink attached. Alright, so there it is. I've got a Forstner hole and the, the screw that is uh, inset. It's going to be a nice tight fit and I've got about an inch and a quarter of screw to go into the concrete. Now to drill the holes in the actual piece. Here we go. sink them and it's ready for the wall. Okay so I've marked all the holes for the concrete. I've got a hammer drill and a concrete bit the right size. Gotta figure out where my holes are. Yeah, Alright. Just drill. stuff. Concrete's hard. Yes, dear. Okay, so I've got a mastic. I'm going to put a mastic on here, which is a glue, construction glue, if I can get it to come out. Kevin doesn't need your help. <laughs> He's always trying to help me. He especially doesn't need those stinky farts. Ugh. Did he just fart again? Yes. Okay, so there it is. I've got the edging. It's on. I uh, had a little problem with the uh, concrete over here. The, the screw would not hold because it was too damaged. But uh, I glued it on good and I have, I have pressure on it right now which should glue okay. I filled in all the edges where all the holes were to try to make it a little easier on the tiles. And uh, the only thing I need to do is to keep my wife from tripping over it since it's got a half inch lip on it. Wise ass. Hey, I'm so fast <laughs> I did not get to go to Skylar's baby shower and they had prizes. And I won three gold prizes. <laughs> and everybody kept saying, Who's this Valerie chick? <laughs> Ooh! Mini burger set. Mini burger basket and mini burger press. Okay, package number two. And I think this will end up going to Megan 
and Brian because they eat popcorn all the time. Mm -hmm. And for the big one. Prizes for not being there. The <laughs> 18 stainless steel cookware set. Really? Watch your arm, watch your arm. Oops. Ooh, that was heavy. <laughs> well, if Megan gets an apartment when she leaves for college, she'll need some of this, so that'll go to Megan as well. <laughs> Thank you for the wonderful prizes that I won, guys, even though I wasn't there. I hope you had a wonderful shower, Skylar. Hello, everybody! It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! Okay, so, the shoutouts all have to do with my question yesterday about what you would put in a time capsule to be dug up 50 years later. And Jay, the Cannabis Explorer, would put in a gram of the best concentrate. <laughs> Terry Johnson said she would put in a photo album of places with their addresses so people can see what things looked like 50 years before they Open. built up and, and you know, construction all over the place. Tanya Longley said she would put in a cell phone, a DVD, and a CD to show people what we used to communicate and what we had for entertainment 50 years ago. Portland Creek Diaries had the best one. She said she would put in her teenager's electronic devices for personal reasons. You realize you'll just end up having to buy a new one. <laughs> We've tried that with Megan before. We don't know where it went. Well, you have to buy me a new one. Um, Tracy Quick said a book. Um, Crimson Fairy said her grandmother's recipes. That's a good one. Um, Bambi S said her DNA. It's her DNA, some mad scientist can. I know how her clock works. I can't I didn't quite really figure out what that meant. <laughs> and Greg Myers says photos of his friends and family. Ruby man. What would you put in? Um, I know yesterday you said a Twinkie. That's right. It's the only thing that would last. Nothing else would <laughs> we... Um, I would say I would have to put in um, a DVD player in hopes that it would last and be workable when it comes out 50 years from now. And the entire series of The Walking Dead. <laughs> hey, somebody has to be able to enjoy it 50 years from now, too. Yes, dear. Okay, and my question for today is... Kevin called me a nerd earlier today because... Nerd! Because Sorry. I watch certain shows that are, nerdy. you know, nerdy shows. I'm proud to be a nerd, first of all. You were a nerd in school. Excuse me. You were a geek That's right. in school. I was a geek. I was one of the geek and freak squad, not the nerd. What is the difference between geeks and nerds? Nerds are intelligent, usually. Geeks are... I was a band geek. But you were intelligent. Well, but I, I can't say I was a nerd. But I was a geek. I was a band geek. I wasn't a nerd in school. I was a fighter in school. I was a very bad kid in school. I, I, got, I got suspended from school, and the principal was my uncle. <laughs> anyway, my question for tonight is, are you a nerd? What makes you a nerd? And are you proud to be a nerd? It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Jeez. Oh, okay, yesterday I seem to have forgotten to say who 
got the the, um, the trivia question, which was about the last man on earth, and that was Terry Johnson, Greg Myers, Tanya Longley, and Cold Today and Bambi S. In that order, yesterday's trivia was about the Exorcists. Um, there was a um, a lot of weird things going on in the background. Some of it was made up. Some of it maybe not. But there was uh, some deaths that were associated with the movie. And I asked how many were associated. There was nine deaths that were associated with the production of the movie for the year, year of production. And those who got that one right is Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, The Abyss, 92882, Cold Today, and Greg Myers. Okay, hey, today's uh, trivia is about a 2006 movie called Slither. The interesting thing about it, like a lot of, 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 of horror films that are comedies, in fact, this one seems to be very much like uh, uh, Day of the Creeps, is there's so many references to other movies other directors, TV series, there's just, there's many. So my question is, can you come up with, let's say, five different references? Anyway, there you have it. There's your question of the day. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you sitting out there, standing out there, kneeling out there, bending oh over God. out there, whatever you're doing out there, watching us sit in here. <laughs> uh, we love you all very much. Give me your hand. See, we can make a heart together. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, P.I.N., Megan's Arts and Crafts, and Megan's Society 6 store. Thumbs up, and we will see you guys.